Elsewhere, days after Mombasa court released Faisal Mohammed, the state has now moved to high court to yet again annul the bond. Under certificate of urgency, lawyer Alexander Muteti from the Office of the Public Prosecutor argued that the magistrate's court ha cannot overrule a high court's ruling which had ordered the suspect to remain in custody as the case continues. He argues that the ruling will set bad precedents where a lower court can overrule a higher court. However, lawyer Gikandi Nguibini representing Mohammed argued that the magistrate courts reached the decision to release the suspect on bond after listening to nine witnesses. High Court Judge Martin Muya is expected to rule over the matter this afternoon. Faisal Mohammed, who is the key suspect of ivory trade, is linked with over 300 pieces of elephant tusks found last year hidden in Tudor, area of Mombasa. He's also on the list of Interpol's nine most wanted suspects linked to wildlife crime. We will also be urging that that court has no jurisdiction to entertain a matter of a constitutional nature, such as the right to be, because that's a constitutional question, once the High Court has pronounced itself. My Lord, from the, the evidence that has been so far, although I cannot now discuss that here, it will not be fair, my Lord, clearly there is no evidence that it is uh, accused of a six. <coughs> and my Lord, the question must be, why would that kind of a person continue being punished 